and the Binding of Isaac. Still just one piece of the puzzle here out of six. We have Isaac. We still need to get Cain, Maggie, Judas, Samson, and Eve. Uh, which I guess I will, uh, you know, I didn't think about what I would actually do now that I'm streaming my device again. I guess I will, uh, try to do, get Kane's puzzle piece. Let's have a quick look at my stats. Haven't done that in a while. 159 deaths. It feels like more than that. Seems like it should be quite a few more. All 12 endings, plus the epilogue, 64 out of 89 secrets collection. Pretty sure I have everything from uh, the first, well, from the Binding of Isaac, not counting the expansion, except for Forget Me Now, which I just unlocked. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten the shears in an actual game yet, and I haven't gotten Brimstone. Pretty sure I'm not missing anything else, because I'm pretty sure the uh, the Wrath of the Lamb stuff starts like down here ish. Actually, the Wrath of the Lamb stuff starts, uh, I think, after this line. So yeah, I think this is all Wrath of the Lamb, and then I need Forget Me Now, Brimstone, and the Shears to get Golden God. You don't have to get the actual no damage achievements. Oh, resync the chat. Uh, in sync. There we go. I propose either question mark, question mark, question mark, or Samson if you take suggestions. Um, I appreciate the, su the suggestion, but I would rather save the worst characters for later and do the easier characters early on. That's just how I. Uh, that's just how I roll. Oh, um, Saul Scribe and uh, Fox, welcome to the chat room. Duke, can I spam creeper faces? Um, I, I'd rather you didn't, to be honest. Um, a, because I'm using an IRC client and I can't even see the creeper faces. They just show up as uh, miscellaneous characters. And B, because I anything involving the word spam, you really don't have to ask if you can do it or not. The answer is probably going to be no. I already had Golden Gods, so my title screen never showed that. The puzzle pieces, you mean? That's unfortunate. That picture would have made it easier to remember who I beat it with. Well, the picture do the picture doesn't really tell you anything. I mean, I beat it with Isaac, and I got this corner of the puzzle, which, you know, that that doesn't really mean anything to me. <laughs> See if I cook you spam fillet for our anniversary. Well, I'm actually not a big fan of spam the food product either. I mean, the Monty Python skit should be a uh, should be a good guideline. I don't want any bloody spam. Can you hear the game audio at all, by the way? Seems a lot quieter than VVV, etc. What computer am I playing on? Um. Oh yeah, uh, well that video, I bought a new computer and uh... Let's see, what was the context of that video? So something didn't work, but I ended up sending that computer back I, I, I ordered it from a company called Cyberpower, which uh, builds computers and uh, and ships them to you. And I think the video was uh, because the video card. Well, well, not the video card, but like when they shipped it to me, they didn't put any padding or anything on the inside of the PC case. So um, the video card was just ripped right out of it. Just ripped the contact right out of the motherboard when I received it, and I had to ship it back. But you know, they, uh, they they shipped me a new one with padding and everything, and that's a computer I'm using right now. Eventually, I had to wait like another two weeks for them to get it back to me. Which really, really buttered my hash. VVV is much louder in comparison. Uh, okay, well, I'll turn it up a bit. How's that? Oh, th the item I got, by the way, Loki's Horns. Not terribly useful. Every once in a while it makes a shot come out from all four sides of you. How old am I? I, uh, I just turned 27 on uh, June the 3rd, a few days ago. So, you know, happy birthday to me. 
not that I make a big deal out of birthdays or anything, you know. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. Once you're past the age of 12 or so, you really don't need to make a big deal out of birthdays again. Cool, I just got out of high school. Yeah, I can tell. No offense. But uh, congratulations on, uh, on graduating. I assume that's what you mean. Unless you mean you just got out of high school for the day. But I assume you're probably on summer vacation. Unless you go to one of those year-round schools. I remember people making a big stink when they were first proposing the year-round school system. Where you go to school for like three months and then you have two weeks off. Three months and then two weeks off. Or something like that. Some kind of rotating schedule. Personally, I'm, I'm glad they never did that with my school. I quite enjoyed having three full months off. Of course, you know, now that I'm a grown-ass man in the real world, I, that sort of thing really never happens anymore. I started LP on June 18th. We can make it an official Duke Day. Was it June 18th? I remember looking that up when I made my Facebook page, so I would know when the actual start date was. Wind Spoon gives you speed. Speed's always useful. Oh, speaking of Facebook, I haven't plugged it yet, so if you use Facebook and Twitter, then uh, you can subscribe to me on either of those services if you wish. Um, Facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump, Twitter.com slash Duke LPs. And uh, please subscribe to me on Twitch, too, if you enjoy the stream and you have not yet subscribed. Because, uh, you know, age may be nothing but, but a number, but uh, subscribers is, like, super important. If I ever want to get to the point of, you know, hiring interns and, you know, building a recording studio with my millions of dollars and becoming an official, an official professional video game dude. Not gonna happen, but it's nice to dream about. Am I a grown ass man or am I a grown ass man? Um, hyphen after the groan. Wow, that was complete bullshit. I have no way of uh, avoiding getting hit there. If I was going for the no damage achievement, I would be pissed. Duke, what interns? You know, the interns that I want to hire to give shoutouts in the chat room once I'm a video game millionaire on the internet. If it's not rude to ask, what is my day-to-day -day work? Uh, boring office job. No point really getting into it. I sit at a desk all day. As I state in the info on my Twitch page. I've gotten a ton of YouTube subscribers lately too. So thank you to anyone who subscribed to me on YouTube. I don't know where they're all coming from. I actually haven't played with Kane much recently because uh, I've been getting all the Sheol achievements and Kane is the first character I completed Sheol with. So it's going to be nice actually having good pills again. Not having to worry about health down or tears down or anything. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Speed up. Excellent. One of the better pills you can get. Ventus Knight, what's up? How was my day? Boring. That's pretty much going to be my answer to any work day. I am planning to go see uh, Prometheus later this week, though. So that should be interesting. I've heard mixed things about it, but um, I'm looking forward to it. If nothing else, it should be good eye candy. Uh, two of hearts. Either doubles the amount of hearts you currently have, or if you have no hearts, which I guess is possible, if you, well, actually, I guess it wouldn't be possible. So, yeah, doubles the amount of hearts you have. If you have uh, the blue baby, I don't think it does anything, since I don't believe it affects soul hearts. Shit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Oh, okay. If you have half a heart, it gives you two hearts, which is helpful to know. So, I guess it rounds down when determining the number of hearts you have. 
for what it's worth, it's a very good looking movie. Kane is always good. Yeah, Kane is still my favorite character. Although, if you can actually survive the first couple levels with Judas, Judas becomes pretty good later on. With, uh, since he starts with the uh, the Book of Belial. I think it's pronounced Belial. I looked it up at one point and uh, it sounded like Belial to me. Oh, the recent update actually made Samson a little better than he was when the expansion first came out, or the new update rather. Um, instead of just starting with a single heart, Samson starts with a heart and a soul heart. Which makes it a little easier when you start the game at Samson right off the bat. Can I explain this whole interns thing? You mean they get paid to do something on the street? I I I'm, I'm just joking, Kostya. I'm not actually going to hire interns. Little Gish is actually pretty good. He shoots uh, black tar balls that uh, slow the enemies down pretty significantly. I have a pretty good amount of money, so uh, I will actually check out the item shop. Hmm. Well, the ladder is useful. Not as useful as a flying item, but uh, I think it's worth picking up. If I can get one more penny, I'll come back for that soul heart. Look for the secret room. Let's see. Slashy says it's pronounced Bel Belial. Postmont says Belial. I don't know who to believe. Uh, yeah. I will check for the secret room since I have a pretty good number of bombs here. I actually think they changed the secret room mechanics in one of the updates, though. Because the, uh... The secret room's not always as obvious as it used to be. I mean, I still check all the obvious spots. My little unicorn. It's actually pretty good. Um, I'm doing a, I'm doing okay on health, so I'll go ahead and check out the pain room. Ah, excellent. That's what I hoped for when I get one of these. I basically traded one, uh, it's basically a uh, free soul heart, no downside. One of the best activated items, yeah, especially early in the game. When you first start playing Binding of Isaac, the Unicorn Horn is probably the best activated I item you can get. It recharges too slowly, yeah, well, that's what you get. Oh, I pronounced it right the first time. Belial. That's what I thought. Now I could go on ahead and use the Unicorn Horn on Monstro, but Monstro is pretty easy, so uh, I think I want to save it. Save it for a tough room on the next floor. Plus, this is a version of Monstro that never jumps, I think. He just kind of hops around, puking blood everywhere. So even easier than Monster normally is. Now usually, when they're affected by the, uh, the tar ball, it also slows the speed of their projectiles, but uh, since Monster uses kind of non-standard projectiles, it uh, it didn't affect those. I like the Game Kid over the, the Unicorn Horn. Yeah, the Game Kid's better, but you have to actually unlock that. But you can get the Unicorn Horn from the beginning of the game. I seem like I've gotten a lot better. Well, I did recently, you know, beat Sheol with six characters, so uh, I uh, I've been practicing a lot lately. Uh, well, onward, I suppose. Jesus juice. Who would have guessed? Yeah, you get Jesus juice a lot for some reason. Ah, uh, human centipedes. Your life is a living nightmare. See, the ladder's still pretty good, because I can just stand over the pit as such, and uh, I don't have to worry about being hit by these guys at all. So it's probably the next best thing to getting a flying item. Oh, speaking of flying items, I recently learned that there's a trick 
to fighting the headless horseman. Um, apparently, if you defeat the head first, then the item you get for beating him is a pony. And if you delete the horse part first, then the item that you get is the cube of meat. So if possible, you should always uh, defeat the head first and save the body for last. Have I bested conquest yet? Not sure what that is. Is that one of the challenges? Because the only challenge I've done so far is uh, as dark as the night. Ooh, ooh, I'll take that. Of course, the problem with getting the, the laser with Kane is that he only has one eye, so you don't get the uh, the extra tears from him. Oh, oh yeah, the newest horseman conquest. Yeah, I, I've beaten him a couple times. He's tough. He's definitely the uh, the toughest horseman. But, as far as I can tell, you always get the white pony when you beat him. I fucking hate these things, man. I hate greed, and these things are just dumbed down versions of greed. The best strategy when fighting these things is to, uh, is to try to get parallel to them. So, you, so the projectiles, uh, so that you go between the projectiles. Aren't there only four horsemen? There's four horsemen of the apocalypse, and there's also the headless horsemen and conquest. Oh, Lord Tamar, welcome. Headless horseman is from Halloween. No, the headless horseman is from uh, the story of Ichabod Crane. I forget what the story is actually called. But yeah, it is a uh, an old tale. Of course, in this game, the horseman isn't really headless as much as uh, his head is just separate from his body. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow. As made famous by a crappy Tim Burton movie a few years ago. Uh, let's see, should I blow the blood machine up? Yeah, I might get something for it. He kinda is headless. Well, I mean, he's, he's decapitated, but he still has a head. It's just not, uh, it's just not on his shoulders. He's like the nearly headless horseman. I think if Conquest appears, Pestilence won't. Well, I have noticed that, uh, Conquest pretty much only shows up in the later levels. Damn. I was hoping there would be a key in that. Man, the last time I played this game, freaking, uh, I, I did a challenge room, and twice the enemy spawned right on top of me. Like, directly on top of me. It's pretty, pretty bogus, if I do say so myself. The bogosity was of a very high degree. Alright, uh, let's see, where have I not checked for, for a secret room? This looks like a good candidate. Ah, excellent. Ooh. Actually, not a bad item. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought it was poison bombs, but it's just the stupid rotten head. That's why after every round, you must go to the center of the room. Yeah, I probably should. Wow, double Super Meat Boy? That sounds like fun. Aw, oh, man. I hate Gertie, and I hate Gertie Jr. It's a unicorn for you, man. The unicorn horn is an excellent item. And having Gish uh, works really well against that particular boss as well. This boss can shove it. I agree. In fact, Gertie can shove Gertie Jr. into whatever orifice it came out of. 
And that's what I have to say about that. Okay, I'm done here. Yeah, I mean, Gertie Jr. is not bad, but he's still annoying. Damn, look at all that money I cannot get. Ah, oh, shit. Stupid greed heads. I know I said it's best to get parallel to them, but when there are freaking four of them in the room bouncing around, it's a little difficult. Uh, no key yet. Hopefully I get one sooner or later. Have I seen Unicorn Isaac? Um, apparently not. Oh shit. I forgot I have a ladder so I can just go right over these, uh, these chasms. Ah, excellent. Uh, Ouija board does not really help me, since it doesn't stack with technology 2. Now it does stack with technology 1, unless they change that in the update. Um, uh, yeah, that's worth it. Wow, I am like super fast. I love technology. Now in my opinion, the laser should be able to penetrate through through the thing's skull. I mean it can penetrate the knights. I don't see why I can't uh, I can't penetrate that. Let's see if I can use the word penetrate a few more times before the stream's over. Pentagram. Wait, damn. No, that's not it. Uh, Pentagon. Nope. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. The notched pick pickaxe is cool, but, uh, it's not worth giving up a unicorn horn for, so, uh, I won't, uh, I won't bother coming back here. Oh, yeah. I can just get that. And I can just get these, too. I can't get these, though. Uh, welcome, International Corn. Uh, the pickaxe, you hit space, and you uh, hit a direction, and it can break a rock in whatever direction you, uh, you press the key. Which is useful, but not super useful. Uh, I hate these things. Especially when you have, uh, a lot of gaps in a room like this make it kind of hard to dodge. But Gish is uh, slowing them down, which is extremely helpful. Uh, yeah, why not? I can always go back for the heart. Guppy's head. No, thank you. I will hold on to the, uh, the horn. And we have a secret room, too. I debated whether I should go around and enter the secret room the traditional way. But uh, I'll just bomb my way out so that I, I don't have to take another heart worth of damage. I hate these things. In fact, I might just use the, uh, the horn here. Well, I don't know. It should be manageable with uh, a wide, wide open room like this. Uh, Kalash239, welcome. Seems like your laser proc Gish's slowdown effect. You mean it like makes it happen more often? That's possible. Isn't proc like an MMO term, term or something? It means like, uh. I don't know what it means. Like, re re refers to the stats or something. I was going to say, use the horn and see if it makes you immune to the damage doors. Looks like your ladder has a chance of causing the tar itself. Really? I didn't notice that. Proc means trigger. Proc means process on hit. Oh. That makes sense. Sort of.
Oh shit. That was not pleasant. I don't like those uh those super troll bombs either. The stars takes you to the secret room. I'm not sure if it'll just be the secret room I already found or if it'll be the other one. Oh no. Stars is item room. That's right, moon is a secret room. <sighs> Eventually I'll learn all these damn cards. There's only twenty two of them. You would think by now I would uh I would remember. See, I remember the fool, since it takes you to the beginning, and you'd be a fool to go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Why not use strength and take the stars to the next level? Huh? All strength does is uh, make you do more damage for a room. There's also Joker and so on. Yeah, but those are easy to remember. Made very short work of him. I could go all the way back for that heart, but uh, I think I'll be okay. Strength gives you one extra heart. Yeah, strength is, uh, it increases all of your stats by one for the duration of the room. Including, uh, including your health stat. It's kind of like the uh, the the uh, power up mushroom, but just for one uh, just for one room. And we're in the necropolis. Great. Hey, why are you still alive, stupid fly? But yeah, the fool takes you to the beginning, which makes sense. And the moon takes you to the secret room, which is like darker than the rest of the rooms. But then again, you might also think that uh, the stars might do that as well. So I need a better mnemonic for that. If you were taking the stars card to this level, you could have gotten the item room instantly. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, good point. I should have... Uh, well, you know, I, I didn't remember what stars did when I used it, so. No huge deal. Apparently the, uh, the face statues count as an enemy for the purpose of slowing them down, but not, uh, but not for actually, you know, killing them. I don't know if uh, slowing them down actually affects their projectiles or not. I didn't notice. Uh, Raziel391, welcome. The moon is dark, the item room is dark. The moon represents deception. Eh, see, I, I wouldn't remember that either. You know, it looks like uh, standing on the ladder might actually have an effect on the, uh, oops, shit, might actually have an effect on uh, the gift tiers. I don't know, it does seem to be happening a lot more often than it usually does. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I have 99 keys. I probably didn't even need to bother with that. And bloodlust. Excellent. Wow, I'm... <sighs> of course, I have a shitload of money and I get super greed. Story of my life.
42. Range up. Doesn't really help me, but... Better than nothing. Oh, the Bloodlust, um, it makes... Or the Rage. Same, same item. Uh, it makes you do more damage for every enemy you kill in a room. And I'm not really sure if it stacks with, uh, with Technology 2 or not. I actually don't think it does. Oh, two new pills. Cures up. And... Explosive diarrhea. Oh well. How am I doing the cathedral this run? Uh, yeah. Ideally, this will be, uh... The only thing left for me to do is, uh, beat the cathedral with every character and do the challenges. So, uh... I'll, pro I'll probably go back and forth, trade off. You know, try a cathedral run, then try a challenge, etc. It lives plus rage plus technology to equal so much damage. Yeah, having bloodlust, um, when fighting mom's heart or it lives. Or just regular mom. is awesome. I mean any any boss that spawns a lot of enemies is is much better with bloodlust. Damn, I kinda took a lot of damage there. Oh, excellent. I could go around looking for the other secret room, but I actually kind of want to hold on to my uh, hold on to my bombs. Do I have the no damage achievements? Just the basement one, and that's probably the only one I'm going to get. I'm not good enough to uh, to get the other ones. <sighs> well, shit. I guess I might as well do something with all this money. Better pay off, little man. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can hold two trinkets now instead of just one. Mama's boy is ludicrous. Yeah, I'm never going to... Another one? I am never going to defeat the womb without taking any damage. That is never going to happen. Uh, oh yeah. Chemical peel. Doesn't really affect anything when, when you have technology though. I don't know, maybe it does. I still haven't really sussed out how uh, how all the damages bonuses damage bonuses apply in this game. Uh McAck too, welcome. Damn. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver in here. This might have been a good time to use use my uh, horn. Uh, the flat penny, by the way, um, I think it, uh, I think that's the one that makes, gives you a chance of, uh, spawning a gold key when you pick up a coin, I think. Kane has gotten so nerfed with some of the better Wrath of the Lamb items. Yeah, a lot of the items don't, uh, oh, I hate this thing. Damn it. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the heart first since that's relatively easy. And then once the heart's dead, I'm going to use my unicorn horn on the mask. Since the mask is just a pain in the ass. It's kind of like the uh, the knights. You have to hit them from the back. And uh, it's just going to be easier to, uh, to do this. And I probably still won't actually kill them. Of course, since I have technology, I guess it's really not an issue. I kind of forgot about that. Ooh, Sacred Heart. Don't really know if it'll help anything since I have technology, but... Oh, it healed me all the way, too. Wow. Yeah, I, I totally forgot I could just shoot the mask. I totally forgot I could penetrate the mask with, uh, with the laser tears. Take a drink every time I say penetrate. It's a fun game. The Sacred Heart won't help since I'm Kane. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I was afraid of. But it still healed me completely, which is still nice. 
Uh, let's see. I'll hold on to my money. And if there's nothing good in the item shop here, I will uh, blow it all on the slot machine. Oh, speaking of, uh, speaking of gambling, did anyone listen to, uh, the most recent episode of This American Life? It was pretty good. It teaches you how to, uh, how to count cards when you play blackjack. Which was pretty interesting. And it had a whole lot of, uh, stories about card counting. Oh, yeah. When you have Technology 2 and the, uh, and the Mulligan... They work so well together. Since uh, the mulligan spawns a blue fly, basically for every uh, every hit you score, like every time you hit an enemy, and when you have technology too, you are just constantly hitting enemies. So uh, you can spawn you can spawn a shitload of flies. How would one screw yourself out of the cathedral? Uh, I'm not sure. What happened to my tears before Mulligan? Usually I can fire lasers and tears. Oh, I'm Kane, so I only have the one eye. Unfortunately. See, look at all these flies, man. It is so awesome. Man, I have a lot of cards to juggle here. Kind of an extremely unique attention to detail. Yeah, but, but I mean, there are a lot of instances where uh, where having only one eye doesn't really uh, isn't really affected in the game mechanics. Wow, I am a killing machine! Oh, I love this combo so much. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, nice. Oh shit, <laughs> I walked right into that one. This is a winning run. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but, uh, I feel pretty good about my chances. Oh shit. And of course we can hold uh, two trinkets because of the uh, because of mom's purse. Oh shit! Why did that happen? I don't know. Damn. Oh well. Alright item shop, you better have something good. Eh. Actually the compass is pretty useful. Tears up. I'm going ahead and use that. And buy another bomb. Why the hell not? I ran into it. Yeah, but like the bomb, I, I think Gish can push bombs. Kind of like uh, Super Meat Boy can. And he pushed the bomb off to the side. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Death, 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 murder and destruction. Duke, I have a fan slash viewer in Argentina. Did I know? Um, not Argentina specifically, but I do get, uh, in my YouTube demographics, I have noticed a lot of, uh, South American viewers. Enhanced Wizard, welcome. Alright, I think I'm going to, uh, let's see, what did I do with that strength card? Oh, there it is. I think I'm going to use strength on this next boss, and then take the sun to the next level. Because the sun is really good. It does a shitload of damage to, uh, to, the, to all enemies on the screen, including the boss. And, uh, it heals you all the way. And it shows you the map for that level. 
So it's like three cards in one, basically. Well, it's like two cards and a pill in one. Damn it, I don't need keys, guy. I need bombs. Although I guess since I'm not fighting Satan, bombs aren't really as big of an issue. Duke, you can't go back after mom. Oh yeah, that's true. Eh, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just use the sun here then. Damn. Oh well. Damn, wow, am I already a mom? Golden key. Uh, the golden key can open any locked door or chest on the, uh, on the, the, the floor you're currently on. So, not really that useful since I got it, uh, so late in the level. Oh yeah, I have the uh, the unicorn horn too. Not gonna need need to use it though. See, that is uh, that that is the power of the sun. Wow, two explosive diarrhea pills from a uh, from mom's coin purse. Why didn't I save the sun for an emergency like when I'm low on health? Eh, well, I'll be fine. I mean, really, Mom is probably the best boss to use it on. Unless I get, like, the bloat or something. It also reveals the whole map. Yeah, but I have the compass, so not really an issue. I can just go straight to uh, ugh, straight to the boss room. Well, relatively straight. Wow, my laser seems to be doing a lot of damage. Of course, you know having the flies helps a lot too. Wow, another sun. Sweet. Okay, well, I think I'm not even going to bother with the rest of this floor. Death, eh? Yeah, that's worth using a card. Of course, I guess really I should be saving it for uh, the boss of the cathedral. Since I'm still not 100% uh, not sure what I'll be up against. I mean, the one time I beat the cathedral, I was like super duper tricked out, and I beat it like really easily. But uh, apparently, there are different possible bosses you can get in the cathedral. Uh, Serious Kaku Demon, welcome. Uh, no thanks, Devil. I appreciate it, but uh, I think I can kill you without any help. Well, not that I'll be killing the Devil this time anyway. Guppy Paul equals win in Cathedral. What does the Paul do exactly? I just killed myself. What are you talking about? I'll trade a red heart for three soul hearts. I don't want to do that. I like having red hearts. You guys are seriously underestimating how awesome my items are. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble at all with the cathedral. And I got some speed. I got some more speed. I'll be okay. Quit panicking. Oh shit. I'll be fine. The reason I use my unicorn horn right off the bat is because I always take damage from those eyes right in the beginning of this boss fight. 
<clears throat> and I would rather not take damage from them. So I just took care of them. Um, and instead of going into the hatch, we will step into the light, my son. And our compass is still active here, so I can just uh, book it right to the boss. Now, from the one time I've played the cathedral, I think it's easier than Sheol, from my experience. Now again, it might not be as easy this time, but, uh, like I said, I am not too worried. Hmm, challenge rumor, no. Eh, why not? <laughs> wow. Tons of gold keys that won't help me at all. Yeah, once you get up in the higher levels, it actually starts spawning bosses in the normal challenge rooms. Instead of just the bloody challenge rooms. Where you're just so overpowered. Yeah, it's kind of broken. Cathedral has that double moving dirty room. Yeah, that'll be a pain in the ass. Hopefully my, uh, my horn will be charged by them, though. Uh, Cody Farth, welcome. Oh shit. Three of these things. That is not fun, except when you're an unstoppable killing machine like I am. Wow, all these golden keys are just so useful. nice. Alright, here we go. Will it be the same boss I fought last time? Let's find out. Yep, same boss. Cain versus Isaac. Basically, he just sits there in the middle of the room and shoots ridiculous numbers of bullets at you. And, you know, he shoots he shoots projectiles proportional to how often you hit him. And those purple ones are the uh the homing projectiles, the uh the telepathy ones. And he's using the uh the ability from uh from the white pony. That's what all those rays of light were. See, I told you guys I'd be fine. I don't think I even got hit, did I? Wow. Pretty good. Welcome, Res09. You're just in time to watch me totally own this game. And this is the final ending. Well, not the final final ending, but, uh... This is the ending for beating the cathedral. few more times and you'll unlock the ability to fight the next boss here. Oh, that should be fun. There's another ending. Well, I assume there's an ending once you, uh, once you get all the puzzle pieces. I don't know. There might not be. Don't you need to beat Isaac with each character? Yeah. And so far, I've beaten him with, uh, with Isaac and Cain. Man, this is some creepy music. 
the boss gets harder every time you fight it. Well, so far it's been the same both times, pretty much. And puzzle piece number two achieved. Just four more left. Alright, well, uh, I guess that'll about do it tonight. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully watching me own VVVVVV followed by watching me own The Binding of Isaac has been entertaining. Uh, join me again next time on Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Same Duke time, same Duke channel. Night, everyone.